Good evening, YouTube. This is Zubair Ahmed Sharif with another video log, and this is on uh, continuation of the ethanol series. So today, actually, I'm going to you know uh, buy uh, XP100, that's ethanol-free uh, petrol, uh, in these four canisters. See, so these are the metal canisters. Each canister I can have five liters, so 20 liters. So two canisters will go in each of the saddlebag, and I'll be taking my Dominer uh, to you know uh, buy these fuels from the. I buy this fuel actually from the uh, uh, Indian oil petrol bunk and once I get it I'll be using this particular funnel and this funnel this funnel actually has uh, you know uh, a small uh, mesh as well you can actually see a small mesh is there so it will keep the impurities uh, uh, aside yeah, so I'll just load this up on my bike and then I'll actually show you and then once I reach the petrol bunk, I'll fill the fuel. I'll make the video as well. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just reached my bike. Uh, I've loaded the bike with the uh, saddlebags and inside the saddlebags, I have the jerry cans. So I'll just quickly show you the jerry cans. So basically in each uh, saddlebag, I have like two jerry cans and I also kept one liter extra here. We, because I don't know when I'll require it. So each jerry can is 5 litres, so 10 litres in each saddlebag. So 11 litres here and 11 litres here. Okay, so I'll just go and uh, fill up uh, fuel in these jerry cans and I'll fill something in my Dominar as well and come back and then I'll actually use it for my other bikes. I also have one more 20 litres jerry can, but for that I need Activa. But right now my brother has taken the Activa. Okay, so I'll just uh, catch you up once I reach the bunk. Uh, so this is how the setup is right now once I reach the petrol bunk I'll just you know show you the rest of the video I'll be right back okay guys I just reached the petrol bunk um, but now while uh, actually uh, riding towards the petrol bunk I thought anyhow all these days I'm actually filling XP 100 so I thought of you know uh, why not fill uh, power 100 this time which is slightly more expensive than XP 100 uh, this is 180 rupees and uh, XP 100 is 160. Both are E0 fuels meant for uh, you know high performance vehicles. Right now, as everywhere we have E20 as norm, so I have decided not to use E20 at all. So because I got a taste of uh, you know what is E0 fuel is all about. So I, I just came in here to fill the fuel for my Dominar and um, also you know uh, these two bags, these saddle bags have. Um, 11 11 liters 22 liters of fuel i mean like basically I'm, i'll be filling up right now here so i'll just go there and continue with the video okay i'll be right back so guys actually i'm uh, going ahead and filling up the power 100 so you can actually cross check this is slightly more expensive 180 rupees somebody's already filled up and gone so i'll be filling uh, 5 litres for Domino and remaining uh, tw like you know uh, 22 litres here in the jerry cans. So once it starts filling, I'll continue with the log. Okay guys, so we are actually filling 5 litres power 100. Okay, this is 180 rupees in my Domino. So he'll keep a count of all this. Sir, count it kodi, it's 5 litres, make it a Ado metal cans, ella petrol certified cans. Okay, so 5 litres is done, now let's go with the other one. Okay guys, actually we have kept all the back uh, open here and all the lids are open and such a helpful guy, this uh, petrol bunk person who's actually you know helping me out. 22 litres, yeah. So 5, 5 litres, red tax stop on today, Yeah, So, 5 litres in each can we are actually filling. Correct, 5 sir. Ah, sir, perfect. And 5 litres here. Wait, the data. Oh. Okay, so 10 liters done.
So I'm just uh, you know looking at the meter, guys. So not able to talk because expensive stuff, stuff, right? <laughs> Hundred and eighty rupees per liter. So you know I'm on uh, petrol uh, spending spree today. So done, perfect. Okay, and then remaining here. Yeah. So I'll fill rest of it and then continue with the log. Okay, so in the canisters I have just uh, filled 22 liters and um, okay, I'll just continue. Okay, guys, I've actually filled up the fuel. Uh, so totally um, five liters in Domino and then 22 liters in these two uh, you know uh, saddlebags so basically i've got 55 five liter two cans and one liter and then 55 five liter two cans and one liter so in total 27 liters of fuel has been filled and this will take care of my you know all the expense i mean like you know uh, my fuel uh, uh, fuel requirement okay so once i reach home i'll continue with the log and uh, i'll also be testing uh, to ensure that you know it's easy you know last time also I've tested but every time I take the fuel I test it at home that's the reason why I have it uh, extra in that one one liter so that I'll be using it on uh, you know small vehicles so goodbye to E20 goodbye to E10 only XP 100 or power 100 okay once I reach home I'll continue with the log okay guys I reached home uh, with my uh, you know fuel um, like you know totally 22 liters of fuel 11 here 11 there so i'll just op open it and show you okay let's check this out so it's slightly difficult working with one hand so this is one liter which i'll keep it aside okay and uh, this is five liters can each let me pull it out so this is five liters okay another five liters so another five liters so five liters five liters and that's a small one liter okay and uh, this is my sweetie boy okay I'll just open the other saddle bag as well Okay, quickly let me open it. Really happy, guys, because you know, uh, food for my right food for my vehicles is on in my bedroom. Okay, so really happy because after I tasted, uh, you know, I mean, when I say tasted, when I experienced, um, you know, uh, E zero fuel on my bikes. I cannot even think of going back to E10, E5 or whatever it is. Trust me that E, I, have, I don't know what you call it as, but for me, it is adulterated fuel, man. Pure fuel, it's totally different, totally different. Okay, so totally 10 liters, sorry, not 10, 20 liters here. So let me keep it all here. Okay. So this is my stuff right now. Okay. So what I'll do here is I also have um, a like you know, uh, funnel which I'm going to fill it up. So as and when I need fuel, I'll just take these one one can and I'll actually fill it up. Okay. So next video, I mean like not next video. Now in next few uh, minutes, I'm going to start testing whether it is E zero or not because people are saying that you know it's not E zero. It's four point five. When I tested last time, it was zero ethanol. So I'm going to show it to you right now and I'm going to, you know, test it right now. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've kept all my, you know, uh, the 22 liters of um, power 100 on the table here. Uh, because after this, I'm going to just, you know, uh, put it on my bike, put it inside my bike. So before that, you know, I just want to cross check, uh, you know, uh, I have 100% confidence that, you know, it is E0. Okay. In XP 100 and also in power 100. 
But a lot of people are commenting saying that, you know, it has 4.5% of ethanol and all that stuff. So I'm going to again test it here. And there's a fresh stock what um, Hindustan Petroleum has got. And today it is uh, 15th of September. Uh, so this is a new stock and I'm going to, you know, uh, put the fuel in this from this metal can so that you can actually check the color because normally uh, XP 100 and Power 100 are almost almost they look like red. Okay, uh, so I'll be uh, I'll be just putting the fuel in this uh, plastic can or the uh, bottle here. Okay, so let me get this. All this is, uh, you know, um, uh, Power 100 guys. So let me quickly remove this. The lids of these bottles are super tight, super tight. So not even a drop actually poured when I came all the way from the petrol bunk to my home. It's almost 10 kilometers. Okay, now let me pour, because I just need 75 ml for testing, because remaining will be the green water. So let me just put only whatever I require. And again, I'll put it back. I think that should be enough, more than enough. Okay, let me put this back here. This is just basically to cross check how much ethanol in this. It should be zero ethanol and it is zero ethanol, but just for the you know uh, purpose of testing and also to show people who have concerns and doubts on this. So it is XP100, which is radiation color okay so so sorry it is the power 100 my apologies so it's a power 100 okay so now let, let, let's quickly go ahead and test it out okay so let me just put green color make the green color water because i just need just 20 ml 20 ml of green water 25 sorry 25 ml of green water Okay, let's keep it aside. Same as usual. Mix it. Okay, and then uh, put it in this to make it up to 20 to 25 ml, and 75 ml will be fuel. Okay, I just need to take a little bit out because it was 26 ml. So we need exactly 25 ml, guys. Let me see if it's 25 ml. I'll just show it to you. Yeah, it is 25 ml. Perfect. Okay, now I'll just quickly fill power 100 remaining you know up to 100 ml mark so basically that is perfect Okay, so now what I'll do is right now see 25 ml is water and remaining is a fuel. Okay, so 100 ml, so the entire composition is for 100 ml. Now what I'll do is now I'm going to put this into the shaking bottle and shake it. Because if we just uh, put it like this, you know, it'll be, it'll take time. So I'm just going to put this water and fuel mixture and now I'm going to shake it just to cross check if it's really E0 or E4.5 as people are saying so I'm going to vigorously shake this so that whatever little bit of ethanol is there if at all it is there it has to come out of that 75 ml of petrol okay now let us see if there's any ethanol in this.
let me see if it's there or not okay let's keep it aside and see if there's any ethanol in this and I'm going to you know allow it to settle down okay so I'll just wait for like say half an hour and then um, I'm going to you know uh, continue with the log okay I'll be right back okay guys I've just left the uh, you know uh, complete mix to settle down for like uh, 20 minutes actually so we don't require that much but I just still kept it to see if there's anything which can show up here now as I had uh, complete confidence in uh, XP 100 and power 100 that these are E0 fuels but people don't believe I'm just proving it to you by testing it but even then if you don't want to believe then whatever you want to believe you can please believe that now you can actually see I filled 25 ml of uh, water okay so this is 25 ml of water which is in green color and which is actually staying at 25 can you see this 25 the green remaining it's all fuel so basically no ethanol it is power 100 is also E0 okay so whatever content i've got here entire 22 liters plus 5 liters in domina is e0 fuel so power 100 is e0 xp 100 is e0 guys only thing is this is slightly uh, less reddish and xp 100 is slightly more reddish it's all dye okay i'm just going to show it to you let me switch off the flash okay so there are slight bubbles in um, power 100 compared to xp 100 so that is basically it could be because of some additives or something like that because they claim that the bike will be even more smoother in this so that is what it is all about nothing else not even a point has gone up if even if it's a point it has gone up then one percent ethanol would have been there but there's nothing so the conclusion here is power 100 is e0 guys so your bikes will be super happy okay so i've just covered it with this so a little bit of circus happening here so that's about it guys so power 100 xp 100 re0 and whenever actually i fill the fuel i will do the testing because i'm not going to directly uh, fill uh, the tank uh, directly i mean my bike tank at the petrol bunk uh, because a lot of people have said they have uh, shown their doubts that you know what if they put xp 95 in, uh, sorry power 95 instead of power 100 or power 100 instead of power 95, power 95 all these things so i'm just getting it in these con containers and I'm going to fill it up uh, in whichever bike I need. So right now I'm not going to put any fuel in any of my bikes. Like no E0, uh, sorry, no E10, E5, E10, nothing E20. Only Power 100 and XP100. And I'm, we are very lucky to be in Bangalore. Because in Bangalore we have these in stock. Okay, so either Power 100 or XP100. So that's, that's the way to go out. Okay, that's about it guys. I hope you like my video and the next video will be the combination video where I'm going to mix XP100 with uh, XP95 and Power100 with Power95 and see whether it will have any impact and reduces the uh, ethanol uh, percentage. So until then, stay, uh, yeah, until that's about it guys and um, Zubi the Rider signing off.